Y'all yeah, already know what the fuck going on. Right. Bro. It's Cam K's world. And welcome to my motherfucking show. Welcome. Tell him. I'm the host. He the co host. But this crew TV, Grind 88 type shit, you know what I'm saying? He said it. You know what I'm saying? He said it. That shit. We just pretty much gonna talk about hip hop and smoke one with you guys. So I'm saying if you're watching this, feel free. To and basically, once you should already have a blunt roll before you, you start this up. So wait, I'm gonna give you a second. Get you a lighter, a blunt, and something to ash it with, and then also something to wash down the Elmer's glue that's on the residue in your mouth. It's only if you're smoking real deal gas. Mm. If you're not smoking gas, then shit, it don't matter. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? We only smoke 9 3. Shout out to Mr. 9 3 on the West. You feel me? Whoa, <laughs> my boy. Hey, yes, go ahead. go ahead, bro. So, man, he came on the show, man, talking about. Hip hop goats. So I want you to elaborate on that, man. Man. Elaborate on that. Man, but basically, you know, yeah, everybody can talk. This shit down, This shit for this. This shit for this. Just licking your lungs, bro. But basically, man. Everybody talking about Big and Tupac, you know, they're the goats. Goats, goats this, goats that. Nah, none of that. Great rappers, yeah. Excellent rappers, hell yeah. Will they go down in the Hall of Fame as legends? Yeah, why not? But goats, they just don't make it, bro. <coughs> what makes it then? I mean, if you look at how music evolved from that time, I guess you can say they were goats of their era, mm -hmm. or the legends of their era, yeah. but as, <coughs> In today's era, I mean, they they not goats. I mean, you got niggas walking around. Like, you got Jay Z's, Nas, Wayne, Eminem's walking around. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just don't. I don't consider niggas like Migos and Uzi, and Baby Gun, all, Future, all them type of niggas. They everybody on their dick and shit talking about they goats. They the best rapper. This that. Fuck yeah. all that. Yeah. Right? Them niggas produce no type of. No type of stories in their rap they produce. There's no type of lyricism and a lot of they shit is just redundant ass. So redundant think, ass shit. You think the go to hip hop has to be a lyricist? Most definitely, either that or a storyteller. He gotta be doing one of the both. One or the other. What are they doing both? That just doubles it. You know what I'm saying? I think this is this is my biased answer. You know what I'm saying? If you know me, my favorite rapper is J Cole. I think he's the go. But if he's not the go now, he will be. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So it'll be a close run in with him and Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? It's not really a lopsided race. Yeah, J. Cole is fine. I feel like J. Cole produced more of the storytelling element, while Kendrick, he got more of the lyricism and the flow. You know what I'm saying? His latest songs were bangers, though. That is true. That's very true. <coughs> yeah, that's that guy. That's that guy. Yeah, that's that's that. That. Yeah, that middle child by J. Cole, yeah, that shit go. Bro, hard as fuck. The flow is crazy. Real deal. All right, before we get into it, we on J. Cole right now. Y'all let us know what y'all like about J. Cole. What y'all think about comment, J. Cole? Comment, comment. Please leave comments. You know what I'm saying? And you know what else I'm tired of? I'm tired of niggas not giving Wayne the proper respect he deserves. You know Bro, what I'm saying? when I tell people that I, I'm a fucker, when I tell people that I think Wayne is one of the best rappers, they're like, oh, you're from Louisiana, that's biased. I'm like, no, nigga, listen to his shit. It's hard, you feel me? Like, he's really rapping that shit, because nobody is touching. Man, if you want to, if you know, ceilings, Wayne. If you're not a Wayne fan, fan, I suggest you go listen to Carter 2, Carter 3, Dedication 3, and No Silver. I guarantee you, if you listen to those mixtapes and albums, you will be a Wayne fan. And if you're not, fucking stupid. You either fucking stupid or you just a hating ass nigga. One or the other. <coughs> or both. Shit. Or both. Shit. <laughs> we can we can go that route? That bit take K started up. Rug rug oh, yeah, he started a rug rug game. <laughs> <and> Jill, <laughs> you, you would take K then? <laughs> I don't know if the take K don't come for me. I'm gonna have to do the race after this. <laughs> Yeah. His flow in this is crazy. Jayco really ate his ass. 
bullets, I'm loading my clips, I'm writing down names, I'm making You ain't calling that nigga that hip hop from Blimley, I'm fucking with you, come on, man. You don't get this shit no more. Back on my shit, the Bentley is dirty, my sneak out, I study the grace, I'm the greatest right now. Fuck if you feel me, you ain't got a choice, I ain't do no trouble, still be trying to do it. Hey, he's eating this whole time, for no, just for no reason. Alright, so what you think about Middle Child, bro? What y'all think? I don't know what you think. Oh, what I think? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high. <laughs> shit, but I feel like good ass song, you know what I'm saying? He just had released the album previously before he dropped his song, but it was a nice little time gap. Enough time to where niggas could say, you know, like, J. Cole need to drop some more music. Yeah. And he dropped it at the perfect time, you know what I'm saying? I feel like hip hop really needed some shit like this. Definitely. Mm -hmm. But a little thing, you know what I'm saying? J. Cole had um, 18 features in 2018. For real? <laughs> Niggas don't know that. Go check him out. I know he had that one money bag, yo. That's, say nah? Yeah, that be. He ran that, that shit. Oh, my mama Did had you hear? the best verse. That's for sure. <laughs> definitely, That's definitely. Verse. Did you hear uh, Pretty Little Fish? Nah, oh, they go. I'm, we're gonna put that on. You know what I'm saying? This is the J. Cole for We talking about J. Cole yeah, first yeah, episode. Yeah. This is J. Cole's episode. Real shit. We going down the line. For next practice. episode for sure gonna be Wayne. You saying know that. next week. Know that. Or next episode, whatever. We just gonna pop up at you. Type shit. But what was I talking about last year? Oh yeah. Pretty little um, Pretty little fears, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? He did uh off D's with Jad D. Right. He did American Dream with Jeezy. Did you hear that? I heard that one. Okay. Um he did uh, Tribe with Buzz. Uh, he one. did uh, Bob Boat with Royce the 5'9. Yeah. Um, he did a lot of other shit too. I just can't think of it right now. But you know, you know what I'm saying? He did yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, fucking yeah. features. Yeah, yeah. Heard Tribe? Tribe. No, I ain't heard that one. I ain't heard that one. Put me on Tribe. Yeah. Okay. This one's for you. Exactly. You be working, bro. Yeah. I think I made it. JJ Cole. Nigga, let me do it. I think I made it. I think I made it because I'm almost smiling and you're the reason that I'm here. Like, when did you find him? Good look at my nigga. Everything around me, I took it. Did it with only the niggas I knew. Big Sean, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about him. What you, Big what you think? Big Sean is a very unappreciated, underrated rapper. Boy. In my opinion. Big Sean is, bro, this generation, he's top five to me. In your, in your opinion? To this generation is rap. Right. Not all time rap, but mm -hmm. this generation's rap, top five. People, I mean, his shit go unnoticed. The main, if you just listen to the shit he's saying, listen. how he break his fucking syllables down, his word structure, his word play, all that shit, tied to one. I mean, right. he's lyrically up there with a lot of niggas. A lot of niggas. A lot of things that I noticed from Sean is when, throughout his career, when he... When he dropped Dark Sky Paradise, he went straight up. He ascended like some Super Saiyan type shit, for real. He went straight from one to three. If you watch Dragon Ball Z, you know what I'm talking about. He, that's how his skill level changed. That thing elevated. Like, elevated, for like real. Me. You listening like, yo, this nigga is not rapping like that. Cause you know, you had his, his local type rap and then he went to, okay, he's kind of big. And then, okay, he's a superstar. And then he went to like he's a he's up there with the Drakes and shit. Right. Well, I thought I always thought he was up there with the Drakes, but then now people are thinking that he's up there with the Drakes and the Coles and the Lamars and bro, shit. I don't even mention Drake. Bro. But I think, bro, nobody whoever writing Drake shit, that shit hard, bro. Hey, cause Drake got a ghostwriter. No that. No that. So you so you to all the Drake fans out there. I'm sorry, but look. The man got a ghostwriter. So you think sure. that like puts an asterisk by their name or some shit like that in the top situation? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's debatable, but I'm not gonna debate that because I agree. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gonna let y'all debate that shit. Please tune in. We gonna share this shit. Please repost. We wanna start a discussion. We a family out here. You know what I'm saying? Crew TV. Crew TV, you know what I'm saying? Cam's world. Any rude comments, you know what I'm saying? We may block y'all ass, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got time for that negativity. Not mistake. For real shit, it's positivity, you man. Positivity, you feel me? But boy, for the shit, you gonna make, make sure y'all listen to it. We ain't trying to get copyrighted now. Money, 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 money,
<laughs> we ain't even running this shit. We'll outplay the whole song. Because YouTube, we do not want to copyright shit. Right? Real shit. We, we trying we to get the bag. That's all we trying to do. We just trying to feed our family. Look, I like what I'm saying. Something, something going in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? That's it. But well, yeah, what you think about that in comparison to the Dead Cool song? Let's, let's compare that with No Role Models. Because this is Big Sean's No Role Models. You yeah, you agree with that? Yeah, see, the thing about those is No Role Models was like, he was on some, kind of on some storytelling shit. And but he was still spitting and it was it's still, what I'm saying. It was some it was like an anthem type shit kinda like this is. You can just kinda it had replay value. I, I, replay I feel value. like I would compare Paradise Extended to more of um uh, J. Cole when he remixed um the Kendrick song, that Black Friday. I swear she from Atlantis. It's, it's so fucking hard to have manners since I bought a man. I never take off, I just take, take off, off my panties. So partially nominated. Yeah, yeah, yeah nigga, you know me. Okay, so good. what is, what is a J. Cole? Who's the better rapper in your opinion? That's and just like bars. This, we talk, this. we just talking bars. Sean. Um, what? Yes. No. no. Oh, get out. <laughs> get out. We just talking about bars. No. J. Cole. I, I, that's respectable. On, I respect more J. Cole because he can be on some storytelling shit. So I ain't never heard of Sean. He has done storytelling shit. Yeah, but it's, so not, it's not as not good or efficient as J. Cole. Exactly. J. Cole. And J. Cole, his storytelling shit can be on some storytelling shit, some lyrical shit, and it be a hit. And you can bump it in the car. Exactly. You and can't get all that with Big Sean. You can't get all in one. Yeah, but we just going straight bars. You put J. Cole right here, you put Big Sean right here, and you tell them, fuck, just spit some bars. Mm -hmm. Big Sean, man. I don't know, <laughs> no, man. Sean, go Please comment what y'all guys fucking think. Bro. That's just my opinion, though. Y'all probably yeah. looking at me stupid like, this nigga's like Big Sean. I hate that Big Sean good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. And I like J. Cole. Do I bump Big Sean like that? No, because he don't make bumpable music. You know what I'm saying? I don't even listen to J. Cole that much, but when I do, I appreciate it. Oh, of course. J. Cole, his music is everlasting. You'll be listening to his shit 10 years from now. But he... You won't be listening to a lot of Big Sean shit 10 years from now. No. You may listen to I Don't Fuck With You. Maybe. Yeah, you'll probably listen to that shit. Because people don't fuck with him. It's like an anthem type shit. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be on like one of those Pandora playlists. Yeah. It's gonna pop up and shit. We just predicted the future for y'all guys right fucking there. You know what I'm saying? Fortune teller. That's mm -hmm. what we do. Give me my check now. That's what we do here. You know what I'm saying? We finna go to a fucking commercial break. You know what I'm saying? Oop. Commercial. Smoke break for us. Smoke break for y'all. Watch the video. Or fast forward and come back to see our beautiful faces. You know what I'm saying? Yeah.